Okay, so I did a little bit of checking, uh, just answering my question from yesterday, which was uh, whether or not to pack grease into these bearings or not, or just to soak them in oil. And the uh, consensus of opinions was, um, even though it's oiled from the diff, uh, pack it with grease anyways, the oil will wash out the grease regardless. So. Um, it'll provide some good lubrication until the oil gets to uh, these bearings and at that point you know the oil will take over essentially. I will change the uh, diff fluid you know probably very shortly after I run this truck in so any of the remaining grease that's in the system is gonna more or less get drained out of the bottom. Okay so I'm gonna repack the bearings and put them on and I think the next shot you'll see everything will be all ready to go. Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick blurb on uh, on reinstalling the uh, the uh, hubs on the uh, axle. Now, obviously, I've got the seals and the rear wheel bearing in, or the inner bearing in as well. I've got the inner bearing in as well as the adjustment nut. I, now, my setup apparently there's a couple of different uh, setups. Uh, one is that there's a key way to uh, retain the the nut. Uh, mine happens to be one with a lock washer. Uh, between uh, uh, two nuts. Now, basic the basic procedure for uh, for uh, installing these uh, or uh, setting up the uh, rear axle correctly here is uh, pretty simple. Um, you know, tighten the adjustment nut until to uh, 50 foot pounds while you're rotating. It. So I'll do that. Uh, I'll pause this and do that. Now, once you've got the uh, um, not tightened to 50 foot-pounds and you've been rotating it uh, it's actually pretty tight there now this the next step explains why I found the uh, once I removed the lock nut why the inner uh, nut the adjustment nut felt so loose it was actually finger tight and there's a reason for that it actually is supposed to be finger tight so what you do is once you've torqued it to 50 foot-pounds you're setting the bearing preload and you basically you back it off until it's uh, the nut is loose and from that point you uh, you retighten it just to finger tightness to the point where yeah basically with your fingers you can't tighten it anymore and at that point I'm just looking for the keyway there's the keyway on the front of the axle right there uh, you take your uh, lock washer here and install it and what you're supposed to do is back the nut off the adjustment nut off until it matches one of the tangs here and then bend the tang over so I'll uh, pause this and uh, do that okay so once you've uh, you've uh, set up your lock washer uh, and your uh, your inner adjuster bolt correctly. You thread on your uh, your uh, your lock nut, and that one they're a little bit more vague on. They just basically say tighten it till it's secure. There never actually was an absolute uh, torque value, so you kind of have to interpret that one as you wish. Um, I can't give you any advice on this. This is the first one I've done. Uh, all I can say is just before you do tighten anything up, make sure that the uh, hub rotates freely and you don't feel any uh, real significant end play on it. You know, Personally I can't feel anything there so I'm going to say that I think it's pretty good. Uh, and that's it. Okay so the uh, hubs are all back on and uh, I've got my tires back on. That one needs a little air. Um, so uh, I'm glad to see any uh, astute looking people might notice that the lug nuts are on backwards. Uh, that's just because uh, without the brake drum uh, on yet, there's just that little bit uh, of additional space and the nuts are bottoming out before the the uh, rim was fully seated. So for the moment, until I get the brakes uh, sorted out in the back here, um, that's the way they're going to be. Now I'll install the axle shafts next. Uh, nothing special about those. Uh, there's just this metal... Uh, uh, you know, gasket, I guess you could call it, that goes between it and the axle shafts. The axle shafts just slide right in. 
torque the bolts down to, uh, according to the manual, 115 foot-pounds. And, uh, and that's it. Now I think I am going to uh, clean the uh, grease off of these and I'm going to use a little bit of uh, sealer on them. Uh, it doesn't say to, but uh, quite frankly it's in contact with oil and I don't have that much confidence in the sealing ability of a thin hunk of, uh, of metal. I'm assuming it's aluminum, but a thin hunk of metal in any case. Okay. Okay, the axle shafts are in, but uh, I have a little tale to tell that uh, shows you that you really should trust your own judgment. Um, these were rated for 115 foot-pounds, which is what... Uh, didn't sound unreasonable. It sounded high, but not unreasonable. Uh, so I went and I just did them in stage. I went to 80 foot-pounds first, and everything seemed okay. But uh, that stupid cheap torque wrench I've got second I went to 115 I just snapped the bolt off because I, I knew I was exerting way more than uh, than uh, than you know 115 on there but I trusted the instrument and the instrument I'm sure is wrong in any case I snapped off one bolt this one right here I didn't do any of the other ones yet so that one is gonna be the problem one uh, in any case don't trust your tools trust your your arm if it didn't feel right I, you know, I should have should have stopped, but I didn't have another one that uh, went up to 115. So, anyways, that's it for today. I'm not too annoyed about that. That uh, bolt shouldn't be too hard to get out of there because uh, because uh, it went in there easily enough. So snapping the head off should be able to get the rest of the shank out fairly uh, fairly nicely.